in this uh, video what we are going to see is what is meant by logical and physical address space before proceeding further so we must be clear about the uh, address space uh, of the user program and the when it is placed in the main memory so the logical address is nothing but it's generated by the cpu and also how the user sees his program so for example if his program let us take a prime number he has some 15 lines means uh, he what how he will see his line start from 1 to 15 number one uh, maybe some hash include number two then some main uh, uh, that is main program avoid main or in main like that then in three third line some parameter declaration or curly braces then in the fifth line a parameter like that so that is how the user sees his program each and every program he will have a view that it they start from the line one to number of lines till the end of the line that is what he says the same thing is generated by the cpu also that we call it as a logical address or virtual address but this will be how this will be stored in the main memory this is only the logical address but how it is going to be stored in the main memory that we call it as a physical address so every program line every process not only program process every process uh, if from the user's point of view the address will be seen as how he see in his system but how it will be when it is loaded into the main memory how its address will change according to the main memory so that is called mapping so here uh, if you say this so let us say these are all the process user process some three process are that so it's uh, let us for uh, explanation purpose i have taken this as 0 to 1000 0 to 1000 and 0 to 1000 so for easy representation but actually it may not be like this 0 to 500 maybe the uh, 512 maybe there. mostly it will be in the 2 power n okay number of lines so it is 2 power n lines will be there so here how many lines it is 2 power n so here this is the main memory in this main memory when the system is booted then what happens in booting the bootstrap program will know where the operating system is present in the secondary story so what the bootstrap program will do that particular operating system will be loaded from the secondary story that is c drive into the main memory this is what main memory which is present in the microprocessor so that occupies some space it will be loaded in the lower addresses that is starting from zero so let us imagine this operating system is loaded from zero to four thousand uh, kb now after this the when we started executing this uh, when this is loaded process one uh, uh, this will be this is how the user sees his lines but this will be loaded into the main memory after this operating system let us say so since it is thousand line thousand i am giving i have written here it occupies from four thousand to five thousand then here process two from five thousand to six thousand then process three from six thousand to seven thousand so uh, when it is loaded into the main memory the address is different so here zeroth line is 4000 first line how it will be the first one line first line how memory address will be that this is uh, these are all the address so 4001 so 2 will be 4002 and so on so this is called mapping that is the logical address when the user process is loaded into the main memory that where it is actually stored in the main memory that is the address of the particular process so this is said to be mapping of from logical address to physical address this is very much necessary to know how the memory handles the uh, address space of the users and how it executes so uh, i hope all of you understand this so then the process is loaded from the secondary storage all these are present in the secondary storage including this operating system so initially the os occupies some space on the lower level address and then when the user starts one process by another say for example he is starting some turbo c++ compiler then he is opening some java so those two 
it is a because it is a different process. So that process will occupy when it is loaded, it occupies some space. Within that, you have opened some prime number calculation or factorial or whatever it is. Same with Java compiler, you have opened it here from this 5000, then program within that. So this is how it is mapped. The user sees his program as only in this way but how it is actually stored is in this way and from here only the information is going to the internal register of the cpu